Greetings to everyone and it's my pleasure to be here at Virtual India Mobile Congress 2020. 2020 has been a year of working from home, balancing between the video calls and preparing tea in the kitchen and taking care of your kids. But if you look at the aspect of that how many people were really working from home, Globally, it has been about 10%. And in India, I'm sure it would be less than 5% who have been able to work from home. Other than that, people have to be still at work, in the factories, in the field, to really perform their duties. Looking at the other aspects of, we talk about so much about factory automation. Looking at the factory automation, and we talk quite a bit about it, 8 out of 10 factories still don't have a smart device. And recently we have seen that the industries which are more digital and having more automation have grown much faster than the physical industries. So this is the potential which I talk about and this is something which pandemic has made us realize that there is a large potential for automation, large potential for connectivity, which is still to be tapped. And that's where I say that we have to really unlock this potential using the new technologies. Using the new technologies which provide ultra low latency and ultra high bandwidth, but at the same time, there are quite a few things which go along with it. Think about it, sensors all over, connecting the various devices and collecting data in real time. Then there are analytics tools which are collecting this data and analyzing it in a matter of seconds. And over and above that, the machine learning part, which basically continuously improves the process. So, of course, the ultra low uh, latency is provided by the 5G, 5G uh, network. But at the same time, the whole technology domain is 5G plus quite a few things which go around it. And these are the solutions which are available today, available today from Nokia and maybe from some other suppliers also. And we as India have been talking about launching 5G, bringing 5G to the market for over about what 18 months now and we have some of the critical points which we have been debating and what i would like to say here is to really give my view on those critical points so that we can get on with 5g launch in india so number one we always keep on debating about whether we really need 5G, whether we really need the data of capacity which is provided by 5G, whether there are enough use cases or not. And this is where I would say that in India, supply creates the demand. And in fact, it is globally also, but I think in India, we have seen that potential with 4G. And it was the same question which came up in 4G that whether India really needs 4G data. And look, about, look at it that over last five years, we have come to a stage where there is capacity crunch in 4G. So, and similarly in uh, some of the global economies, for example, talking about Korea, where 5G has been launched, the data consumption of a 5G subscriber is three times more than a 4G subscriber. And why it would not be same in India, I don't know. So, I would say that need for 5G in India market is definitely there. Talking about use cases, again, uh, the ultra mobile broadband and at the same time fixed wireless access are some of the early use cases. But knowing the innovation which is there in India, knowing all the software companies which are there in India, I am sure that there are use cases which will come up which will provide uh, a, a paradigm shift in the way of living. 
and it will help in improving the farm productivity it will help in the industry 4.0 and all those things so i think we should just take away this particular uh, skepticism that yes we need 5g and at the same time the use cases are already there getting developed and it will come up by the time we have 5g launches second quite a bit talked about on the on the security topic and yes i agree that uh, 5g has much more touch points there would be much more number of devices which will be there much more sensitive information which will flow over over 5g network but that's where the 5g standards especially from security perspective are much more stringent than 4g standards number one number two there are quite a few security solutions which are coming up which handles this particular challenge quite a lot and i mean at this particular moment there are global economies there are countries which have been launching 5g and it's the same security issue with each of them right so they have been able to address this problem of security and i am confident that we should also be able to handle it then third lots being talked about 5g trials as on today there are what about 40 uh, commercial trials not commercial trials commercial launches which have happened and the interconnectivity between 4g and 5g interworking between various vendors then all other technological aspects of 5g have already been launched so from that perspective now it is a proven technology so i i'm i'm of the view that we really don't need 5g trial as of now and we should just straight get into the commercial launches fourth point on spectrum availability and that's where yes i think we should not be making any compromise because that would be one input which would be required for making 5g a success in india and i know that there are interministerial discussions which are happening as of now to make sure that uh, the the spectrum is available for for the 5g operators and again pretty confident that it will work out and then last but one of the most critical point is about spectrum pricing again lot of discussions which have happened over last two years on this and just putting it in the right context as i said korea consumption is about three times more than 4g consumption uh, each of the subscriber pays about 50 percent more price than the 4g tariff i don't think in india we would be able to afford that and from that perspective we will have to make sure that we price it in such a way that it is affordable to uh, to the operators to roll it out and it is affordable for the consumer also and again in doing the right comparison on the spectrum pricing yes if you use uh, the matrix of megahertz per population per person then yes we can always say that india prices which have been defined uh, as of now are are kind of uh, in a good benchmark but that's i would say that's not the right way so either it has to be adjusted to the gdp or it has to be adjusted to the arpu or the industry revenue and if we really look at the price per population per gdp then this price is about what 4x 5x of whatever we have in korea so this is something which which has to be has to be looked into and uh, there i would request the government of india the regulators and the other stakeholders to really make sure that we price it rightly we can get into a discussion on this particular topic but price it rightly for the industry so out of these five aspects i would say four are more or less covered or will be covered very soon and the spectrum pricing is something which need to be addressed now where i would like to conclude that really let's make let's come together as india as an ecosystem to make 2021 as the 5g year for india
there are the the bus the train has left the station there are about 184 commercial agreement which nokia has got into and we have already launched about 39 networks today with 5g so it's very clear that if we are not able to launch 5g in 2021 unfortunately we will miss the bus and we don't want that to happen so in summary i would say that yes if we have to go through this particular journey then let's just don't hit and hope it's a transformational thing which is going to happen so let's plan it properly and execute it properly 5g ecosystem overall is still young maybe the latency which is ultimately required for the industry is uh, is, is not there today but at the same time all these technologies are available are available for from nokia and let's just implement that and it will keep on improving as we go along third the most important topic don't compromise on trust on this network very sensitive information pharmaceutical formula your commercials your financial information will flow on this network so please work with the trusted partners so at the end yes as i said most of the ingredients are there so let's together make uh, 2021 as the 5g year and get on with it thank you and have a good rest of the conference